What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails of Cold Steel. Uh, I actually, I didn't stop bulk recording uh, from the last episode, but I did go back to the title screen because I was thinking to myself, it's the final chapter. I wonder if the title screen changes at all. And there's a lot that's here. You know, the train itself is decorated with the festival stuff. You can see confetti falling outside. And then, of course, everyone is in their concert outfits here, which I think is really, really cool. So, yeah, very nice. So let's head back into things uh, at the end of the first day of the festival. Let's see what's going to happen. 1900, so that's what? Eight? Yeah, eight o'clock at night. Wait, no, I'm stupid. That's seven. Perfect. Yeah, the final song fits in perfectly. I'll bet it would be quite the surprise for the audience, too. See, what did I tell you? Well, one doesn't typically attend concerts expecting a deception. That's not entirely true. I feel like a lot of people go to concerts expecting an encore. <laughs> They'll never see it coming. Haha, <laughs> I see no harm in a little unpredictability. After all the festival planning, I think people will appreciate something that wasn't part of the program. Now that we've got that set, it all comes down to how much we can pump up the crowd. Well, we've done about everything we can do. We'll just have to play our hearts out and let fate decide the rest. This is going to be so much fun! Huh? Is something wrong, Emma? You don't look so hot. You're not starting to feel sick, are you? No, I'm feeling fine. I was just thinking about the latest news I heard about Crossbell. Oh yeah, there's that rumor going around. You're talking about the one involving the International Bank of Crossbell, right? Apparently they've frozen access to all their foreign accounts. Uh-oh. On top of that, you got the bank CEO, Dieter Croy, serving as one of Crossbell's two heads of state. He won the mayoral election a few months ago. But even in political office, he stayed on as the head of IBC. I actually met him in person once. Wow, really? Yeah, not on my own, though. I was with my mother. The IBC's long-standing business partner of the Reinford Company, they acted as an intermediary for the Orville Network. And Arcus Projects, actually. But he never seemed like the kind of person who'd do anything this extreme. I mean, I... I with what we played in Zero, we would say the same. He doesn't seem that much of an extremist. If the IBC really has frozen the bank's internet... Because he was so helpful in the first game. Very caring, very worried about everything. Um, yeah. It's going to cause chaos across the entire continent, not just in Erebonia. Could lead to a depression. Pretty big one, too. Some of my family's assets have been hit by the IBC's freeze as well. I just don't get it. If they push their luck too hard with the Empire of the Republic, there won't be a Crossbell State for much longer. So either they're doing all this accepting that could happen, or they have something else in mind. <clears throat> with all this going on, are your families going to be able to make it tomorrow? Got a lot of VIP parents in this class who are supposed to show up, right? That's true. It might be rather difficult for them to make it. Given he's on the board of directors, I was expecting my dad to at least make an appearance even if he couldn't stay. Yeah, I don't think my sister will have any trouble making it, but I'm not so sure about my dad now. Same situation here. My grandfather should be able to make it, no problem, but my mother. Hmm. My only family member who will be visiting is my younger brother. Yeah, only my sister will be coming, so nothing to worry about there. Eustace and Laura, you both got family coming too, right? Right, but considering my father's current position, whether he makes it or not depends more or less on chance and circumstance. I can't really hazard a guess to whether my brother will be able to make it. Ordinarily, he's has a reasonable degree of freedom, but with all... <laughs> of course. Uh, right when I don't want this to happen. Just give it a second, as usual. There we go. Ordinarily, he has a reasonable degree of freedom, but with all that's been going on, he's been quite a busy man. You can save yourselves some chronic hand-wringing. I've just been informed that all of them will be able to make it. Is 
instructor. Is that true? Sure is. They called the academy about earlier, in fact. The situation in Crossbell isn't so dire that it's going to have an immediate impact in the Empire. Thanks, Lloyd. So they've decided the best thing to do is to attend as planned, to show everyone is still business as usual. Well, that's certainly something. I'm actually a bit relieved to hear that. Anyway, never mind that. You've got your big day tomorrow, so I hope you're ready to tear it up on stage. Class 1's got that operetta thing they're doing, right? I snuck a peek at their rehearsal earlier. The amount of effort they're putting into the whole production is almost scary. Wait, they're rehearsing today too? Looks like they went straight to the principal to ask permission and he made a special exception for them. I figured they just coasted on their family's pedigrees, but they're putting their hearts and souls into this. Whatever you guys said, you must have really lit a fire under them. What should we do? Maybe we should have one more rehearsal just in case? Nah, we put in plenty of time. We're good at... We're as good as we're going to be for this performance. Any more rehearsing would just be redundant. I suppose you're right. If we whip ourselves into a panic and just rehearse until we drop, we might actually be more likely to screw up. You make a good point. In lacrosse, getting a good rest before a big match makes a huge difference. I guess it may be best to simply rest for tonight, then. We'll need every bit of our strength tomorrow. Yeah, we've done all the work we can. I'm sure a good wind will blow on us. I'm impressed. You guys are a lot calmer than I thought you'd be. And here I was, all ready to lecture you if you seriously suggested re rehearsing at this time of night. Uh, instructor? We wouldn't have even thought to do it if you hadn't come in barging in here trying to scare us telling us about Class 1. She's just sulking because she feels left out. That's a dirty lie and you know it. Hey, what's that sound? Why are they ringing the bell this late? Hold up. That's not the school's bell. Can't remember hearing one like that around here before. Now that you mention it, it did sound different than the bell we normally hear. Wait. No, it couldn't be. Similar to that. This is like the bell we heard in Lawyer Green Castle, isn't it? It's the same sound, I'm sure of it. That's impossible, and yet... What? What's going on, you guys? Lawyer Green is that old castle in Legram, isn't it? Yeah, the one you told us that ghost story about. It seems like things just took a turn for the strange. And I have a feeling I know where this lonesome bell is tolling from. Come with me if you're curious. What if everyone just decides to say no and they just go to bed? It's definitely not the main school. Yeah, I didn't figure it'd be at the main building's bell. That would mean... That is a bright light. I knew it. Let's go and take a closer look. going on? Where are they off to at this hour? Where is that bell tolling coming from? Well, Patrick's been in there before. Yep, it's similar to Lord Green Castle with that aura. の力の力みたいなものかいやこれはまた尋常じゃない雰囲気ですね大抵ゆかりの士官学校旧校舎だけはそれ以前からこの地にあったという話ですが。This building is super old. 学院長、先輩たちも。レイン君たち？おお、サラ教官も来たか。
状況は先ほど金が鳴り始めた直後すぐこの状況になったそうじゃ複数の学生が証言しているうんな,なんだか透明な壁に包まれているみたいで工具のハンマーで叩いても衝撃が吸収される感じですね<笑>ああそれは物理的な衝撃を相殺するようなフィールド不可解な場所とは思ったがここまでだったとは<笑>うーんとりあえず母ちゃんにぶちかましてもらうやめておけ古城の時と同じオチだろうああ青白く不可解な力で封じられた障壁うんを招集これより緊急会議を開く最悪の事態を想定して備える必要があるじゃろはいうーんそうなっちゃいますかとわくん明日の学院祭だが中止の方向で進めておきなさいジョルジュくんはこの場所の監視機器を揃えてもらいたいははい了解しましたま待ってくださいまさか学院祭を中止にするつもりですか仕方ないわこの状況じゃこんな異常事態夜が明けても続いたりしたらとても来場客は入れられない周囲にどんな被害があるかもわからない状況だし学院うんうんトリスタにも避難指示を出す必要があるかもそんなちそうなっちまうか危機管理の観点からすれば当然かもしれませんが1ヶ月俺たちそれに他のクラスも学院祭に全てをかけてきました単なる意地の張り合いだったり身内への見えもあるかもしれませんみんなで一緒に何かを成し遂げるのが単純に楽しかったのもありますスピーチタイムリーンさんリーンだけどそれだけじゃない俺たちがここにいた証それが残せるかどうかなんです勝ってもいい負けてもいい大成功でも大失敗でもいいこれまで教官や先輩たちに導かれお互い切磋琢磨してきた全てを込めるためにもタオンどうか俺たちに明日をつかませてもらえませんかぼ僕からもお願いします自分からもお願いする<笑>できる悪あがきなど知れてはいるだろうがそれでも可能性がゼロでない限り最後まで諦めたくはありませんどうかいっぱい練習したし僕も僕もこれで終わりは嫌だよもとよりこの建物の調査は我らの役目でもありましたゆえ今回の異常事態についても私たちが調べるのが筋でしょう<笑>あんたたち<笑>本気みたいだねやれやれ聞いてるこっちが気恥ずかしくなってくるぜうん<笑>意気込みはともかくこの障壁をどうするかですがおや腰のところをどうしたんですかえっ My pants are glowing アークスのフォルダーあーどうしてこんなそれって All of them are glowing. All of class 
これは<笑>ぼ僕たちもどどうなっているんだ結界の光と同じそれにこれはあの時の感覚と同じアークスの戦術リンクで俺たち全員がつながったとしたおや漢字は似てる I did, I didn't even think about that. <笑>俺もかよおなんかすごいね時は来たさあ示すがよい校舎そのものと共鳴し合っているのかええ間違いないと思いますそして俺たち七組メンバーなら旧校舎の中に入ることができるすみませんどうやら育て方を間違えてしまったみたいです。Damn right they did. <笑>お主はこの上なくよくやってくれたと思うぞ。それにどのように育つか選ぶのもまた若者たちじゃろう。So, 740. we essentially get like four hours and 20 minutes. That's <laughs> 多少の無茶なら許可するわそれと一応エイドスの加護を無理をせず引くというのも勇気のうちだと思いますよソラ教官それにトマス教官も了解承知しましたみんなくれぐれも気をつけて私たちもできる限りバックアップするから技術塔も開けておくから整備が必要なら来るといいそれと売店や食堂も閉めないように頼んでおくよあコンビニエン会長先輩ありがとうございますよろしく頼んだぜそれじゃあ行ってきますどロイグリンカスルはロイグリンはカスルをあなたが見つけたときに、ロイグリンはカスルを見つけたときに、ロイグリンはカスルを見つけたときに、ロイグリンはカスルを見つけたときに、ロイグリンはカスルを見つけたときに、ロイグリンはカスルを見つけたときに、ロイグリンはカスルを Yeah, because remember, we only had six floors before. Oh.
Look, the elevator is glowing with the same light. Almost like it's trying to guide us. There's something different about the console, too. Yep, there's one more floor. Seven, a seventh floor. How fitting for class seven. I knew that sixth floor couldn't possibly be the last. My guess is the seventh floor holds the key to answering all the questions we have about this place. Well, shall we see what lies beyond? Right. Time to find out what dark terrors await us down there. A door. All right, class seven, let's do it. Second trial, huh? あの赤い扉と同じってか思わせぶりな仕掛けとは思ったけど第六高速それに第二の試し高速というのはこれまでの階層のことか機動車候補って僕たちのことわからぬが これだけは確かなようだな。今宵我らが導かれるべくしてここに導かれたのだと。ああ。リン、大丈夫なの？リンさん、胸の朝が薄くんですね。ああ、そうだけど。でもどうして。ちょっとしたおまじないです。ああ。ですが、どうやらこの先は尋常ではない場所のようです。ああ。リーンさんも含めて。皆さん覚悟はできていますかエマ。どうやら何かを知っていそうな口ぶりだが。セリーヌもいつの間にかついてきてるし。俺は俺たちはみんな七組があるからここまで来られた。お互いがお互いを認めて成長し、それぞれの道を目指せるような。いや、そんな強さは少しは手に入れられたんじゃないかと思う。リーさん。そうね。まさか入学した当時、皆とここまでの絆を育めるとは思ってもいなかったが。
こういうやりとりも含めて俺たち7組ということだろう<笑>いいなやれやれすれたお兄さんにはまぶしすぎるくらいだぜミリアムもクロウも同じさそれに委員長もこれ俺たち7組が最高のクラスだって。およそクラス分けには縁がなかった私ですけど7組が最高であるのは自信を持って言えると思いますだったら行こうこの先に俺たちのクラスが最高だと俺たち自身に証明するためにこの異変を食い止めて明日を引き寄せるためにグッドワーズリーンさんわかりましたもうとやかく言いませんいきましょう私たちの明日をつかむためにあ,あああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ Well, well. Quite a dungeon. Realm of the Great Shadow. Final dungeon material, if nothing else. Oh, hey, even the teleport point, just like the other floors. これはいいな<笑>作戦開始の号令は大事そうだねこれも僕たちの特別実習みたいなもんだしよっ我らがリーダー<笑>噛むんじゃないぞまったくプレッシャーをかけないでくれ。トールス士官学院7組総員急行車の異変を食い止めるべくこれより第7走の探索を開始する各自全力を尽くしてくれあわやあわやあわやあわやあわやあわやあわやあわやあわやあわやあわやあわやあわやあわやあわやあ Oh, we get to have a party of. Oh, Emma's required. So, four, five, six, seven. So, seven out of what? Uh. Seven out of eleven. So, four people will stay behind. Uh, okay. So, uh. Laura. Uh. Fee. Crow. Elliot and、uh, Alexa, I guess. And then the other four just stay behind while we're up here. Cool. You can work on your slots and everything here. Was there anyone I forgot to open a slot for? Just curious. No.
I just need to make sure scent doesn't get put on. Alright. Let's get moving. It might have just been a coincidence we all ended up in Class 7. But we've come so far together that I couldn't imagine my life without you guys now. Let's go then. The time we shared together will be our strength. You said it. Let's get moving. So, probably has to do with Emma herself. Okay, so these are going to be little teleporters, it looks like, to get further in the dungeon. So for now... Look, oh, so there's four. So I guess we have to do them one by one. Got it. Vroom, vroom. Uh... Okay, so we need to go up there, but... Oh. Well. So I guess this has some importance. Sure. If the big speech wasn't enough of a telling sign, uh, this is the final dungeon uh, of the game. So we'll put an end to this, and uh, I guess uh, enjoy the rest of our festival once we're done here. Oh, hello. All right, I think this dungeon doesn't have a lot of... Uh, I think you can actually pass by this guy. Oh, no, there are some enemies in here. All right, come on. We haven't fought anything in a little bit. Let's see what this does. Okay. Oh, these guys are kind of weak. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it moving. Okay, uh... I assume that way is... Yeah, it's locked, so we have to go the other way first. All right, uh, I know I need to put equipment on everybody that doesn't currently have it on them, but I'll do that between parts. I don't need to waste time in a video doing that. Alright, open sesame. I don't know if I remember it correctly, or just in general, but, you know, I play enough RPGs to know. There's probably going to be a boss at the end of each, uh, zone. Oh, this is a big boy. Mm. Yeah, 
We actually haven't had Laura in a bit because she wasn't with us in, uh... By the way, they never really told us that we never really got to see what Group B really talked about when, uh... During their field study. In, uh, Ordis. I mean, I assume they had a similar experience. So I know a lot of people will probably, like, if you look this as an RPG by itself, I know a lot of people you know, see it as like, oh, I don't feel like a ton happened in this game, but of course, you gotta look at it from a franchise standpoint. It's the first of four games in this arc. So, of course, the first game is just kind of getting you familiar with uh, the main cast, and then the other three games can work on, you know, building that on that. <laughs> But I still, even then, I still don't think, like... Oh, wait. I'm confused. Oh, okay. That would trick you. I still think there was plenty of development in this game. You know, for what these characters each kind of, like, were struggling with. You know, Elliot with his music, Reen... His swordsmanship. Fee opening up to the rest of the class. All that kind of stuff. Oh, wait. We're back at the beginning. Well, that's cool. So you get back here and then you can go to the next section. So you can just come back here and then rest before you go on to the next one. I think we'll do one more section in this video, and we'll save the top two, or the other two, rather. Oh, wait, there's only... Never mind, then. Because we came out of there, so I assume when we finish this one, we're going to come out of there. And then we'll probably be able to progress further. Well, we'll finish this part, at least, I guess. Come out of the other portal before ending the video. Oh, nice. Glad the enemies in here aren't super tanky like in some of the other areas we've been to recently. Aurelia dress. It's a dress, so... You know what? We'll give you that. And we'll give you the Aurelia dress. That'll help. Oh, okay. That was, uh, simple enough. So this section really didn't have anything in here. All right, then. So now we go through this section. Well, I guess we'll see what awaits us. <laughs> Oh, 
all these items will help out for uh, whatever's gonna be waiting for us at the end. Okay. I guess that's where we need to be going. But it looks like we'll probably have to go down both sections to get there. Oh no, uh... He's gonna have a kill move. It wouldn't have mattered. One of these enemies were gonna get a kill move regardless. Alright. <sighs> oh well. We'll deal with that for now. So we didn't even need to go this way. Oh, Lord. I regret doing this fight at all. Diabolos gem. Now why would I waste an item? Alright, let's avoid getting KO'd for a while. Hello, dragon. Did some damage at least. Whoever this thing hits is gonna make vantage. Um Bye, Reen. Well, Reen is, uh... Oh, yeah, when you vanish, you lose all your EP. they're gonna get a death blow unless I can okay good I can at least stop the death blow um yeah the last thing I want is to get death blowed oh hey Rina's back you go Reen 
Really? Uh, sure love the uh, higher elements. Well, they're back, at least. Um, yeah. That was a bit of a fight. Well, that's where we want to go. Thought that floor right there would have been the perfect place for a boss to show up. Well, let's see what's beyond. Wakatteru, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that would be an obvious thing. And obviously, we can teleport back here, but uh, this is going to be our stopping point. I guess I didn't need to waste those EP charges. But this is where we're going to stop here for the night. Uh, well, actually, yeah, literally the night. I'll probably finish the rest of this uh, recording, finishing the game tomorrow. Well, tomorrow when I'm recording this. It'll still be way later before anyone sees this. But, uh, yeah, so we are in, I assume there's probably three areas of the Great Shadow, Realm of the Great Shadow. So we probably have to open this gate up here. Um, and then there's Realm of the Great Shadow 3. And I assume that'll probably be the, uh, the end, I would assume. Uh, or whatever's at the end of this will be there. But, uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So, that's gonna be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.